Hey there, Iron Toast here, and today we're going to talk about round three of Nick Fury's Recon Initiatives. So let's take a look at the map here. Um, straightforward, same layout as other ones. The only tricky opponent maybe this week is that Symbiote Supreme. Um, the boss on everyone is going to be Kingpin. The only thing about the Kingpin on Epic difficulty that might be difficult a little bit is the stun immunity. So you're going to take a lot of block damage. Other than that, he has uh, aggressiveness and heavy assault, things like that. The main kicker though is he has a ton of health. So if you only have rank 3, 5 stars like me or worse, um, he can take quite a few hits to bring down. So in light of that, I decided to bring Carnage because you can choose and stack a bunch of buffs. Um, cruel or not cruelty um, critical hit buffs the um, precision and furies so that'll help a lot i stacked multiple carnages in this case i had a five star a four star and a three star that way you can get uh, paired with a venom that way you can get the extra buffs you can actually get three extra buffs because you have three carnages on your team which is cool and then i also had a venom the duck i've got him recently and i was playing around with him during the questing part of these things which is uh, so far, I like him. You know, I'm definitely going to rank three, and then I don't know if he might be good for alliance quest in in our as a rank four because of that pretty cool um, regeneration, pretty dependable, and you can fire it off whenever you need it. Pretty neat. Anyway, as far as this boss here goes, um, for a stun immune kingpin, really, once you get past, once you get him up to that first special one. Um, if you're able to get in a good sequence with him, you can get him to where he can just keep baiting his special one. You don't even have to take a whole lot of block damage. Um, the way I fight him, since I have all the carnage stacks, I'm going to shoot for three, excuse me, I'm going to shoot for four critical hit buffs, the precision buffs, and four fury buffs. That way, uh, with four precision buffs, you, almost every single hit is critical, which is great. And then you basically get as many other furies as you can. In this case, you can do four and four. Um, throughout the battle. So I usually get the critical hit ones first, the precision ones. So I've got four. Um, that makes two fury buffs right there. Got another one coming here. You always want to make sure you, in order to get that fury buff, you end a combo on a medium and you kind of wait for it to apply. There we go. I got one more to get here. So I'm going to keep baiting his special until I can reel off mine. There we go. Not enough for mine, but I can bait his again. There we go. <clears throat> all right and this should be my eighth and last one that i can get for this round i'm gonna end the combo with a medium there we go kind of wait it out and bam four and four four precisions four furies and if you watch uh almost i mean there's very few hits here that are not critical and i like to just keep running the uh special two you'll see it takes me a while to get into that um rhythm but i like to keep running the special too just because the hits are a little bit harder <clears throat> but basically if you watch every hit is pretty nasty to begin with and uh, if you do special two they're pretty decent you get some six seven eight k hits in there um you can try to get a lot of bleed stacks but you see right there he just purifies them and then goes unblockable not really worth the effort i say just um continue with the barrage of attacks and just get that special two anytime you can so um, I know there's probably better ways to beat this guy. Like, if you have a Stark Spidey, that would probably be one of the best things you can do this week. I don't have it, and therefore it's not even an option. I may mean, have a 4-star, but, I mean, against this guy, you've got to basically use a 5-star. Um, so anyway, I'm going to let you finish watching this fight. It's actually, I had to double-check I was recording there. Um, I'll let you finish watching this fight. It's, I mean, it's fun. It's, I, I enjoyed it. It's a little easy because Kingpin's the AQ boss right now, but, um, anyway... Very cool. Um, love the rewards on these Nick Fury quests, but enjoy. I hope you learned something. I hope this helps you get prepared for yours. And uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and, and share with your alliances if you want. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.